Well, welcome to this year's Veterans Day celebration, a long-standing tradition right here in our Long Beach community. Uh, we've also celebrated uh, this week Veterans Day on uh, Thursday. We also celebrated the 246th uh, birthday of the U.S. Marine Corps on Wednesday. Uh, at City Council on Tuesday, uh, we acknowledged uh, uh, today with a resolution by our City Council. And um, we, so that, all of that is to be said that we don't just celebrate Veterans Day in Long Beach, we celebrate a whole week uh, for our veterans. Um, and if you are a veteran, let's take this time right now to give a round of applause to the veterans uh, who are here with us today. This is about you. Uh, Long Beach has a long history of supporting veterans in our, in our city. Uh, it was uh, 1932 when the Pacific Fleet moved into the Long Beach Harbor, and since then, uh, which, what is now Pier T, uh, since then uh, we've continued this tradition for many, many years, um, and we continue that this year. Uh, it's unfortunate that in this environment with COVID-19, it's important to acknowledge uh, that we've had significant loss, and it was, it's a difficult environment to plan a parade. You have to play in six, nine months in advance, and it's hard to determine uh, what, uh, what nine months out will look like. Uh, and so this year, the committee, and we want to thank the committee, um, we worked together to make sure that we didn't um, not acknowledge veterans, but we continued this tra tradition this year. Let's hear it for our veterans committee. So uh, we have a number of uh, elected officials here. Um, we'll all, all offer them an opportunity to, to come up and speak uh, right before our, our special ceremony um, for uh, the Honorable Val Lurch, um, which let's hear it for the Honorable Vice Mayor Val Lurch. Uh, but first, I would like to invite Mayor Robert Garcia to the stage to pr come provide a welcome on behalf of the city of Long Beach. Hey, everybody. Um, it's really, first of all, great to see uh, so many people out. I know for, uh, for a lot of us, we're just starting to go back out to, uh, to events and um, to see friends and, and, and family out. It's really, really great to see. So just thank you for, uh, for being out. And most importantly, thank you for continuing to uh, honor all the veterans uh, in our community. A lot of us celebrated, of course, uh, just a couple days ago. Um, and I had a chance uh, to visit a great exhibit actually here in Bixby Knowles that is honoring also um, uh, African-American veterans and their history in Long Beach. And there's a great exhibit there. I encourage folks to see that re really great exhibit that opened up. Um, I had a chance to be there um, this, last, uh, this last week. Uh, today is also a very special day. I want to just first start by thanking uh, Vice Mayor Richardson, um, but also everyone that has been involved in organizing today, uh, but also everyone that's been involved for the last, um, as long as I can remember, uh, years with our, um, our parade. I think our Veterans Parade has been uh, one of the highlights of the community, certainly uh, here in North Long Beach. And um, I see a lot of folks here that have been involved over the years with the parade. And I just want to thank you very much on behalf of the city for continuing that tradition alive. So let's give everyone involved with the parade and the festival a big round of applause. Uh, I also, you know, today is um, it's a, it's a beautiful day in, in, in the city. Um, uh, going by, stopping by a few events here. There's actually things happening all across the community today. But I wanted to stop by um, just for a few minutes, especially just to uh, say hello to everyone, but most importantly to say hello to the Lurch family. Um, I want to, um, you know, I, I, I think all of us uh, are, first of all, thankful and grateful uh, to, to Val for his service to our country and certainly to our city. Um, and his family is here, and I think they already all know that they have all of our support and our love. Um, I had a chance to know, uh, to know Val uh, as he served on the, on the city council and as vice mayor, as a community leader, um, and has always been and continues to be someone of high integrity, uh, of uh, high character, um, and someone that really believes uh, in service. And I think that's what um, Veterans Day also is all about. It's about service and about honoring those uh, that make the, the ultimate sacrifices, not just for, for, for their country, but for their family. Uh, and Veterans Day is about also honoring the sacrifices, I believe, that families and friends make in supporting our veterans across the country, because there's shared sacrifice amongst everyone. So to the, to, the, to the Lurch family, let's give them a big round of applause with, with, with a lot of love. And finally, to all the veterans that are here, thank you for your service to our country and community. 
for all of us that have family members that are veterans and that have served, it's, it's always an honor to, to, uh, uh, to, to support you. Um, and thank you for your immense love of country. And thank you for, for having me here today. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Garcia, for those uh, remarks. Uh, I want to also uh, uh, invite two additional folks to come speak. Uh, we have Eric Miller, Executive Director of U.S. Vets, and Victor Sanchez, who is uh, the Vice President of the Long Beach Veterans Day uh, Planning Committee. Let's, let's welcome them both to the stage. Let's hear first from Eric Miller. Good afternoon, everybody. As Rex said, my name's Eric Miller. I'm the executive director of US Vets, and I've been with the organization for two years, but I've been a resident of Long Beach for 30 plus. Uh, I'm the son of Navy veteran Gilbert Miller, and uh, my father, who is a born and raised LA County resident, uh, went into the Navy uh, evading the poverty that had stricken our family for generations. And during that time period, uh, my dad was taught a number of things. He was taught the importance of patriotism. Uh, he was taught the importance of discipline. Uh, but most importantly, my dad was taught the importance of loving people and compassion. And so when I look out into the crowd today and I see all of the booths that I have behind us here, uh, that is exactly what this exemplifies, a community coming together and compassionate around the sacrifices that our veterans have given so that we can experience all the freedoms of today. So I'm asking that all of you join us in a big round of applause and thanking all of our veterans for their sacrifice. I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize my awesome team that is here holding us down in their fancy U.S. Vet shirts. Team, if you could just give a big wave here, U.S. Vets family. I got some of our veterans from our campus at Villages of Cabrillo in the 7th District, by the way. <laughs> there we go, my man, Mr. Sanchez. Um, but all things considered, uh, if nothing else, let's remember to love one another during this day, because that's what this is about. Uh, all of the sacrifices made by our veterans were really about their empathy for one another. So I ask that we continue to keep the spirit of that patriotism, that compassion, and that empathy today. Thank you. Next is Victor Sanchez. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Victor Sanchez, the uh, Vice President of the Long Beach Veterans Parade Committee. It is uh, an honor to be here with all of you as we honor our veterans and the men and women who have served for our country. Um, first off, I'd like to uh, begin by saying this is the second year, unfortunately, that we have not been able to bring together the parade. Um, we look forward to bringing that in the future. Uh, unfortunately, like the Vice Mayor has mentioned, we can't plan out ahead of uh, nine, nine months without knowing what will be. And so with that, I, you know, I just wanna say that we look forward to bringing it back uh, it's been an honor for the committee to bring the veterans, be a part of the veterans parade for more than 22 years. And it's important for us to continue to honor our veterans. Um, I personally am not a veteran, but I felt a calling over seven years ago to be a part of the veterans committee and to help honor our veterans who have sacrificed so much and their families who have given so much to our country. So with that, I just wanna say it is a pleasure to be here. And on behalf of the committee and on behalf of the president, Gus Orozco, just wanna say thank you for being uh, part of this event this afternoon to honor uh, a great mentor of mine and a great friend of mine, uh, the former Vice Mayor, Mr. Val Lurge. Thanks, Eric and Victor. So U.S. Vets and the Long Beach uh, Veterans Day Planning Committee helped organize today's event. Uh, we want to recognize both of them with certificates from City of Long Beach. Uh, this one is to the Veterans Day Planning Committee uh, for your contributions and service to the 2021 Long Beach Veterans Day Festival, you are acknowledged for your dedication in supporting and improving the lives of veterans throughout the city of Long Beach. And this one is to uh, Eric Miller with U.S. Vets, again, for your contributions to the 2021 Long Beach Veterans Day Fe Festival. Uh, thank you, and you're acknowledged for your dedication to supporting and improving the lives of veterans throughout the city of Long Beach.
Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. All right. So we have uh, a program in store today. Um, we'll be, um, we have uh, some dignitaries, some special guests that are coming around 1, 1 to do a special ceremony uh, honoring uh, someone who is a friend to, to all of us, uh, Vice Mayor Val Lurch, um, and we're looking forward to that. Um, we do have one elected official that's here now that uh, would like to just come up in this moment um, and give an acknowledgement prior to the, the larger ceremony, and that's Council Member Roberto Uranga. Thank you, Vice Mayor. And congratulations to the uh, Veterans Parade Committee, to U.S. Vets for putting this together, uh, and, and to Rex. So let's give the Vice Mayor a big round of applause. Uh, he has been instrumental of keeping this event going for the last years that he's been here, even before that when he was Chief of Staff to uh, Steve Neal. But my biggest thankful thought goes to Vice Mayor Val Lurch. Uh, he kept this going as well. He was a staunch supporter of this, of this event today. And if he were able, I know that he would be right here walking up and down the street and just getting people organized and recognizing your service to, to, to this country. And I too want to join in saying that I am so proud to be here today because I get to see you again. Uh, all the great, wonderful veterans of our country who have served us in the military. Val Lurch was a Coast Guardsman for many years retired as a Coast Guardman. But we have other branches of the service here as well. Army, Navy, Marines, hoorah! Hoorah! <laughs> as well as, uh, as uh, the reserves and all the services of, of this country that protect us and give us our freedoms. We all know that freedom is not free. Many of us, many of our compatriots and our family members have paid the ultimate price to keep us free. And so if, we, if you can, if you don't mind, please join me in a moment of silence for all those veterans who have come before us and have now left us. Thank you for your service. I also want to acknowledge that I know uh, Mr. Miller indicated that the U.S. Vets is located in the 7th District, while I also have the Gold Star Manor in the 7th District with the Gold Star Mothers. Let's a big shout out to the Gold Star Mothers uh, of, our, of our community. And with that, I want to leave you with one thought. Keep, keep our service people, our service men and women, in your thoughts, and let's pray for their safety and safe return home. Thank, Thank you very much. Let's hear one more time for Council Member Roberto Uranga. He said the Army, he said the Navy, he said the Marines. Don't forget about the Air Force. Don't forget about, the, or the Space Force. I was born on an Air Force base, Scott Air Force Base, Belleville, Illinois. My father was a veteran. You know, I, I grew up, I truly admired, I was raised to appreciate the service of veterans. We are here now to celebrate uh, who all knows why we're here today for this moment. Who's excited to recognize and celebrate uh, a distinguished uh, leader in our uptown community, a legend in Long Beach, two-time city council member, vice mayor, Val Lurch. Let's hear it for Val Lurch. So Val is our honorary grand marshal for today's uh, celebration. And we know that uh, Val is here with us today in spirit. Uh, but in reality, Val is at home and he's dealing with some, some health issues. 
And now is a good time for us to uh, take a moment and just think about Val, lift him up. We're doing a moment of silence. Say a silent prayer to yourself uh, for Val and his comfort and his health and for his loved ones and his family. So let's do that right now. Let's have a moment of silence for Val. Thank you. So in addition to being a, a historic figure, a leader here in the Long Beach community, uh, Val is a veteran of the United States Coast Guard, including 12 years of service in active duty, uh, excuse me, 12 years as a reserve, including 12 years of active duty and 12 years as a reserve, so 24 years. Uh, Val, uh, I mentioned, he served two terms on the Long Beach City Council here in the 9th District. Uh, he uh, is uh, responsible for, uh, he would call this area the jewel in the crown at the top of the town. So the top of the town term, that was Val. Um, a lot of the neighborhood association work, uh, a lot of that legacy, uh, Val was a, really a part of the neighborhoods. We saw him as a neighborhood council member. I met him when I was uh, 24 years old. I was doing leadership Long Beach. I had an apartment in Long Beach and at 25 I bought my house in the district and Val was my council member. And uh, Val and Jerry Caligiuri, they were all about North Long Beach. And these were uh, tremendous leaders, and Val never, uh, he never hesitated to, to prioritize veterans and to stand up and speak up, no matter who he's speaking to, speak up for North, the North Long Beach community. And I try to carry on uh, that standard uh, as uh, one, of, uh, one of Val's successors. We all sort of um, live in his uh, footsteps. Uh, his contributions are many. He served as vice chair of North Project Area Committee for Redevelopment. He was an executive board member of the DeForest Park Neighborhood Association, a North Long Beach Business Association board member, and he was a founding member of the Long Beach Veterans Day Parade Committee. So today we're proud to honor him for his service, not only to the United States of America, but to the Long Beach community as well. Uh, we're joined today by numerous uh, elected officials and community leaders who have brought recognition to honor Val today. And um, I'm gonna start, we're gonna begin with a recognition from my office. Um, and we have, and let's hear, we have Val's family here with us today, sitting in the front row. Let's hear it for the Lurch family. And we've seen this family grow up, grow up throughout the years, just grow up. Um, and so this is our first recognition. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna have a runner who's basically gonna present all of these, all of, you're gonna do it? Oh no, you, you pointed at yourself. No, we have, a, we have our intern, our social work intern, is gonna take these recognition and put it on this table here. So at the end, we can take a big photo and you won't have to get up and come down and get up and come down. How's that sound, okay? All right, so a special recognition is presented to Honorable Val Lurch Retired in honor of your outstanding service to the North Long Beach community, the city of Long Beach, and the United States of America. This award recognizes your many contributions throughout the city and your faithful service to the veterans of Long Beach. Your legacy will last forever in the community you serve. With honor and respect, Vice Mayor Rex Richardson, City of Long Beach. And it has two photos, Val's Council photo, and we had Val's Coast Guard photo. So we put both of them on this plaque. Uh, this is our first commendation for the Honorable Val Lurch. Next up, we have, uh, we have our member of Congress who represents uh, this area of North Long Beach, uh, who is here with us today to provide remarks, Congresswoman Nanette Barragon. Thank you, how are you all doing today? Well, let me start by thanking Vice Mayor Rex Richardson for dedicating this year's celebration to one of Uptown's finest, Val Lurch. Thank you, Rex. Absolutely, that just deserves a round of applause. So as we celebrate Veterans Day, let me also thank every veteran who served and continues to serve and whose family, um, day in and day out, also gives up their sacrifice on their, on their loved ones to be able to serve uh, and for our democracy. You know, Rex said it all, really, about Val. Um, and I think about 
my interaction with Val, um, I was this new candidate running for Congress. And I remember looking up Val and saying, well, I wonder if he'll meet with me. And I gave Val a call, and he was just so anxious and, and so welcoming and so friendly. And he was like, yeah, of course, come on down. And he took the time to sit down and talk to me and to share his experience in public service and to tell me about North Long Beach. And I thought that was just so gracious. I was, I was just this like new candidate running. And here was somebody who continues even today to be such a leader in this community that people look up to um, and that people seek out advice from. And so when I heard about the honoring of Val Lurch um, and his service uh, during this challenging time uh, for him and for family, I wanted to be here myself um, to say thank you. And thank you to the family who um, helped provide Val and make him available to our community um, so that he could help mentor those who came behind and he could provide that advice. And so um, I also um, wanted to mention his involvement as the organizer of the Compton Stand Down um, and the Veterans Independence Day celebration here in Long Beach. Um, and I know the, the list could, is so long of what Val has uh, meant to this community, what he means to this community. And so um, I'm just uh, proud to be here today to honor him. Um, and uh, I have a certificate, certificate of recognition that I will be sending down to the table as well. It reads, in honor of your admirable service to our nation and the residents of Long Beach, California, thank you for your sacrifice as a member of the United States Coast Guard leadership on the Long Beach City Council and unwavering dedication to empower our veterans and their families. So I send my best, uh, my healthy thoughts and prayers as somebody whose uh, own father was in hospice. Um, I know how hard this is, and please call on me if there's anything I can do. Today we celebrate Val, and we celebrate his service. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the family. Thank you. Next, next we have State Assembly Member Mike Gibson, who represents North Long Beach. Thank you very much. Vice Mayor Richardson, thank you, uh, Congresswoman uh, Nanette Barragon, for being here. So, real quick, I want to thank uh, absolutely, particularly, uh, our Vice Mayor for bringing us all together to celebrate someone who I happen to have a relationship with and admire. So, can you do me a favor? Can you just thank our Vice Mayor for bringing us all together to celebrate? Val Lurch. And so as the Congresswoman and um, our council and our vice mayor was talking about uh, Val, um, I, when I was, I was a city council member in the city of Carson. And uh, before I ran for office, I wanted to, my church is right down the street here in North Long Beach, Church One. And so people said, you need to meet with Val Lurch. And so we used to meet at a little cafe called Hobo's. I don't know if anybody knows that, where that used to be. And that's where we used to meet every Saturday morning. I would go there faithfully to have the breakfast and also to hear what's on the hearts and minds of the residents um, in this particular part of North Long Beach. And each time he showed tremendous leadership. Each time he gave his vision, he cast his vision. Each time he lifted up the community. Do you understand that this man was absolutely proud of Long Beach and absolutely proud to serve the city of Long Beach? So won't you put your hands together and give Val Lurch a round of applause. Uh, don't pity Pat, won't you put your hands together and let's celebrate this great man. And certainly, certainly for me, um, through the opportunity that I had to be with in his presence and for him to rub off on me. It has made me not only a better leader, but a great uh, a state assembly member. And so that's the kind of people that we need to celebrate and to have him serve our country in the, in the capacity not only as a public servant, but also as a military person. I'm absolutely thrilled to know him and to continue to call him my friend. And so we have this certificate 
Um, I don't do this by myself, but we give this certificate on behalf of the half a million people that I am so honored and blessed to represent in the California State Assembly. So it reads, Calif it reads, Certificate of Recognition, Grand Marshal Val Lurch, Uptown 2021 Veterans Day uh, Fiesta. On behalf of the California State Assembly, the District 64, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your leadership and your commitment to supporting the community. The 64th Assembly District is sincerely grateful for your leadership in the United States um, National Guards and also on the Long Beach City Council. Thank you very much to this family for sharing Val Lurch with all of us. It's signed by Mike Gibson this day, November 13, 2021, but it's actually given on the behalf of the half a million people that I represent. And I'll be giving Val a call. So thank you very much and God bless you. Here one more time for Assembly Member Mike Gibson. Yay! Next, we will have remarks uh, from a representative for Senator Lena Gonzalez. Great, thank you, Vice Mayor Richardson. My name is Jacob O'Donnell. I am a field representative to State Senator Lena Gonzalez, who represents the state's 33rd state, uh, Senate District. She is proud to represent the city of Long Beach and California State Legislature. Uh, and I just wanna say first and foremost, thank you so much to all of the veterans here in attendance today, uh, to all of our active service members. We really deeply appreciate your service to our country and the sacrifices you make to protect our freedoms. And I am here as well on behalf of Senator Gonzalez to um, present an official state uh, recognition to Val Lurch. So this reads, in honor of your unwavering dedication to our country and to the city of Long Beach. I sincerely thank you for your service in the United States Coast Guard, tenure on the Long Beach City Council, and fierce advocacy for our veteran community. On behalf of the 33rd Senate District, thank you for your immense contributions. Thank you. All right, next we have uh, a presentation from the Long Beach Veterans Committee. Victor. Thank you, uh, thank you Rex, uh, or Vice Mayor Rex. First off, uh, I do also want to agree with everyone here. I want to start off by thanking the uh, Vice Mayor for making this possible and for partnering with the Long Beach Veterans Parade Committee to make this possible. Um, you know, the uh, former assembly members that spoke uh, this, uh, this afternoon really, really said it well. I too have a personal story with Val. Seven years ago, eight years ago, he picked me up. He took me under his wing. Um, I'm not just the vice president of this committee, but I'm also an elected of the city of Bellflower. I'm a council member. And Val has been a tremendous mentor, like mentioned here by others. He met with me. He inspired me. He motivated me. He talked me through things. He, he would spend late evenings in the calls talking to me on the phone. And, and, and he still does that today. He was my treasurer. He's a good friend of mine. He's a family member. He's a mentor. He's, a, he's like a father to me from that standpoint. Very supportive. And I, I definitely love and appreciate what he brings to this community. And to this day, he still gives me advice. Um, and so with that, it, it's just a tremendous pleasure for me um, at this point, I'd like to ask two other committee members who are here from the Long Beach Veterans Committee to stand up. Becky and, and, and Ray Hamada, please uh, wave. Um, it is our honor and our privilege that after doing this parade, being a part of this parade for over 20 something years, at least I know Becky and Val and Val's work as, as a founder um, to honor him. He's never been honored by the Long Beach Veterans Committee or by this parade. And so it's just an honor to, to stand here and to say that Val Lurch, former vice mayor, is our grand marshal. And so please, please join me in a big round of applause as he is our grand marshal for this event. Thank you, Val, for all your work and commitment to this community, not just here in Long Beach, but across. You've made and touched so many people and you have made a difference, not, in, not just now, not just today, but for the future. So thank you, Val. Appreciate you. God bless you. All right, next we have a representative from Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon. Hi, everyone. 
My name is Gabriella, and I'm a field representative for uh, Speaker Anthony Rendon. And although he couldn't, you know, join us today, um, you know, it's really important that he have, you know, that he's present here and um, on his behalf. So we just wanted to say, um, firstly, thank you to all the veterans on this, you know, wonderful, beautiful day to recognize for all their service and especially for the incredible Val Lurch. Um, so. I have this certificate of recognition here. So on behalf of the California State Assembly and the 63rd Assembly District, congratulations on your outstanding years of service in the U.S. Coast Guard and in reserves. From the beginning, you were always an advocate for veterans, for veterans and selflessly devoted your time for our community. The impact you have made will last for many years to come. Thank you for your incredible work and dedication. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have a representative from Assembly Member Patrick O'Donnell. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Shane Weaver, Long Beach Field Representative for Assembly Member Patrick O'Donnell, representing the 70th District. First, I'd like to um, just say thank you to Vice Mayor Richardson for putting on this, you know, tremendous event, recognizing our veterans. So, just wanted to thank, on behalf of Assembly District 70, thank you to our veterans and active service members. Thank you for all you have done for our community and our country. We are here, so um, Assembly, Assembly District 70 is right outside of, um, right outside of where we are currently. But my boss did serve on the city council with um, the Honorable Val Lurch um, on the Long Beach City Council. So uh, my boss, you know, shared he is a great friend of, you know, of Val Lurch and, you know, how he just did represent our community's neighborhood. So he was a champion. So on behalf of Assembly District 70, we do have a certificate of recognition as well. So to congratulate Grand Marshal Val Lurch in recognition of your dedication and leadership within our Long Beach community. You devoted many years serving our community while also being a strong advocate for our veterans. On behalf of the California State Assembly, thank you for your continued hard work and long time dedication in representing Long Beach. I declare this day, November 13th, 2021, as Val Lurch Day in Assembly District 70. Thank you. All right, we have uh, uh, a certificate of recognition here from the County of Los Angeles. County Supervisor Janice Hahn, in recognition of dedicated service to the affairs of the community and for the civic pride demonstrated by numerous contributions for the benefit of all the residents of Los Angeles County, signed Supervisor Janice Hahn. So let's hear it for her. She couldn't be here this morning. And finally, we have school board member and executive board member, excuse me, executive director of U.S. Vets, Eric Miller. Thanks, Vice Mayor. Uh, I, we also wanted to recognize the contributions that Val has had both to the veteran community in the city of Long Beach, but most importantly with our organization, U.S. Vets. Uh, it has been no secret that there is a disconnect between the mental health issues that have been plaguing our veteran community for generations, um, along with the amount of resources uh, given to those young men and young women who have served our country. Uh, Val was on the uh, front lines of supporting our organization as he was a board member for eight years. So we too wanted to recognize his service uh, with U.S. Vets. Uh, I mistakenly did not bring my certificate with me, so I wanted to apologize and I'll make sure that I'll bring that over to you. But just know that Val is uh, definitely important to us as an organization and is definitely been a great friend to me and our entire team. So thank you. All right, so uh, thank you all for those recognition. We have one more thing to do. Um, we have a special surprise for the Lurch family and for, uh, for uh, Val. Um, that mural over there uh, was installed. This is the Long Beach Veterans Mural. It's an iconic, iconic mural. Folks, North, North, folks who know North Long Beach, who have come to Houghton Park, they know that mural. And on that mural are the faces of uh, different folks in the North Long Beach community who are veterans, uh, who have served. And uh, Val commissioned this mural when he was, when he was in office. And so this is uh, the fifth, 15th anniversary of that mural. And so um, today, um, you know, back when Val commissioned this, despite his mil military service, he didn't think it was appropriate to place himself on that mural. And I understand that as a council member. 
Uh, he thought it was more important to lift up the voices of others. And um, I think that it's, it's finally time that we uh, honor his legacy and refresh this mural and uh, place Val's uh, image that we have here on that mural where it belongs uh, so it can be um, uh, immortalized with all of these other veterans who have uh, been recognized all of, this, all of this time. So what we have in front of us here, and if we can have some of our uh, elected officials uh, come forward, and Parker, if you can help with this process, um, what we're going to do, we're going to unveil the rendering of the updated Long Beach Veterans Mural. We're going to unveil this. Uh, this, mail, this update has been commissioned by my office. And it's going to be, uh, we're going to begin this project uh, immediately after this. So in about a month, you'll see the updated, completely updated mural touched up and, you know, with Val Lurch's uh, image added. So uh, let's go ahead and um, do it on three. One, two, three. So this will forever recognize Val Lurch's service uh, to the Long Beach community. All right, folks, so at this point, we're going to hear remarks from Val's granddaughter, Tori, uh, who is here to speak on behalf of the family. Thank you, everybody. Um, means a lot to our family for you guys doing this for us. Sorry. <laughs> um, I have to let you guys all know, he's been on FaceTime this whole time, so he's seen this from all of you. Um, and when that was unveiled, he, it brought tears to his eyes. So. Anybody that knows him knows North Long Beach, top of the town, is his heart. Um, so this means everything to me and my family, and I just want to take the moment to thank all of you for doing this for us. All right. Well, you know, we have, you know, we're, we've concluded this part of the program. Uh, let's hear it one more time for Val Lurch and the Lurch family. <laughs> 